Hi, I'm just going to show you how to do a Zentangle tile um, with a design called Huggins, which looks like a weave, um, but it's very easy to do. Um, this is one tile that I've done before. You can use it for background, so it looks quite effective in that background. And also I've done it in the background of that one there. Um, you can use it, you know, for any reason, filling in shapes. I did it on the E on this letter here. I think that looks really nice. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to start off with four dots in my corners. It's a lot easier than you think it's going to be. So four dots, and I'm going to join those dots up. Doesn't matter if the line's wavy. Mine's always wavy. And you have to keep turning the tile, or I do. It's the easiest way to do it. Okay, now I'm going to draw a grid out of dots. So I'm going to put a dot in each corner. I'm using um, a fine liner pen which is 01. A dot in each corner there. And then I'm going to put a dot in the middle of each of those and a dot, I might actually do two dots there. And the same here. And the same here. And here. That's it. And then I'm going to make a whole grid of the dots. Doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, to be honest, if it's not perfect, it's actually quite charming, very pleasing to look at when it's not perfect, the final result. <clears throat> there we go. Now, I'm going to start my pattern, and I'm going to start in this top left-hand corner. I'm going to make a little tiny circle, and I'm going to go under to that one. Now, I'm going to go over to this one, make another circle, and go under. Make another circle, go over, another circle, under, and I'm going to just keep that going. Don't worry if you make a mistake, because by the time you finish, you probably won't be able to see any mistakes, because it'll be all caught up in the pattern. So I started under on that one, so I'm going to go over to start with on this one, and then carry on under, over, under, doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. Started over on that one, so I'm going under on this one. over on this one this is one of my favorite designs it's very relaxing to do over so this is under you get totally absorbed in it that's why it's very meditative very calming Over. <clears throat> While I'm doing this, I can hear the birds singing in my garden. That's really nice. Under. Over. So the next one's under. Over. Under. Over. And over. And over. Okay, now I've finished one section. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to carry on and do the whole thing again. 
So I'm going to start with under here. And I'm going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, over. So you see I'm doing exactly the same thing again. So I went under there, so I've got to go over here. Under, over, under. Can you see how the pattern's forming? Over, under. So effective. So that was over, so this is under. That was under, this is over. Okay. And this one's under. Like I said, it's not perfect, but that doesn't matter. Over. Under. Okay, so that's the basic weave. Now I'm going to add some texture to it. Um, now on this one, I just did texture in one way. I did it all horizontal. So you can either do that or you can do it both ways. So on the letter E in this one, I've done it both ways. I quite like that, so I'm going to do that this time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to carry that on. Just three little lines. If you can, make them thick at the bottom and just lighter at the top. Don't have to be even. Like I said, it's more charming if it's not even. Just as it comes at that one, like that. Now it's starting to look really pretty. Giving it some texture. And I'm going to do the same the other way around. You don't have to. If you want to leave it like that, you might just add some shading in. I'll show you how to do that in a little while. Um, but I am going to because I quite like it. Oh, I didn't quite do these ones. Do the same thing here. You can see how it's all coming together really nicely now. I started off with a few dots and working out how to put them all together. And it was such a lovely design.
go. I'm pleased with that. I'll put just a little bit more in there. That's it. There we go. Really nice. So I'm happy with that. Now, you can add a little bit of shading. You'll need a pencil and a smudger, which I'll just get out of my packet. My smudger. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's your smudger. And the way to do the shading, just put a little bit of the graphite. There. So it might look a little bit messy at the moment, but when you smudge it, it looks really good. You're just putting a little bit of graphite, graphite on the ends. This is going to give it depth. So you put some texture in, now you're putting a bit of depth in it. Mm. 